Hear that crunch? <laughs> hey guys, I'm hanging out with Janie. Janie, wave hi. Hi. And this is Romeo the tiger. And uh, Romeo's about three years old. And Janie has ra five years old? <laughs> about five years old? He'll be six in September. And uh, Janie has raised him since he was just a little, little tiger. And Carl is in there with him, so he's gonna give him a. We raised him together. Hi guys, we're wiping Romeo down. This is a fly deterrent, all natural. It has rosemary, coconut oil, a bunch of other little good things in it. It's all natural. It's actually designed as a mosquito spray, but he doesn't Keep the bugs it. off him. Yeah, it just keeps the flies off. It keeps him from being annoyed. Oh boy. That's a good boy. So I just spray the, the fly deterrent on a uh, on a wet wipe. And I just wipe them down with it. A baby wipe. A baby wipe, yeah. Not Clorox cleanups or anything. 100% <laughs> natural. Exactly. Yeah, 100% natural. So you guys are multitasking here. Carl's inside. Oh yeah. Well, this has kind of a strong odor to it. It helps, too, to distract him a little bit. It has kind of a strong odor to it. He really doesn't necessarily like it. I mean, you can smell the lemongrass in it and, and uh, rosemary. He doesn't necessarily like the smell. Cats have very sensitive noses. But he will allow me to put it on him and I'm not... And it helps that he's getting a treat at the same time. He's getting fed. He's paying attention to being fed right now. So... If this was to get on his nose, it would be really aggravating for him because their noses are so sensitive. Come here. you want to tell mommy how tall you are today? Wow. Good boy. You're a good boy. So Carl, tell us a little bit about Romeo's story. Romeo was owned by uh, a gentleman who breeds tigers um, and uses them for cub petting and quinces and weddings and High school I'll get it. prom nights and homecoming and stuff like that. Yeah, but eventually, when those tigers get bigger, um, they really don't have use for them. They're not as controllable as they were when they were babies, and also the public can't touch them after they reach their weight of 40 pounds. So um, they get rid of them. Um, I'm sure people saw that huge movie that was big last summer. Tiger King. Uh, yeah. And he, the gentleman was basically like um, some of the people in that movie, you know, and they have to make room for new cubs that they can make a ton of money on again. So they try to find places for these to go. And we were told that he was going to go to a circus. Um, the circus is still operational. I won't name it, but uh, the circus was still operational uh, as of the beginning of COVID uh, in March of 2020. But... Uh, I don't know if it's active now. So he was going to go to the circus. We did a little research about tigers in the circus and how they were treated. And we decided... Didn't want him to go there. We didn't want him to go there. So um, so we purchased him from the gentleman. And then we had him uh, moved from the gentleman's facility. We just, uh, as a family, we committed to taking care of him for the rest of his life. So we pay for his food and his vet bills and all those good things. And take care of him make him as happy and comfortable as he as he can be and Janie's just hand feeding him over there you can see her just reaching out with her hand he's been super like, gentle always um, when he was much younger you know, big cats can be possessive when it comes to food so we chose to um, thwart that by hand feeding him all of his food at one time you know by hand and never allowing him to have a bowl of food that he had to feel like he he needed to protect um, and it's only because uh, you don't want to have an aggressive, you know, 425, 450 pound tiger uh, that becomes aggressive with food. So we chose to hand feed him and we make sure he gets all of the food that he sees in his bowl so that he knows we're not taking it from him and that it's all his. Will you go in lockout for me, please? Go on over there in that lockout so I can work on your stuff. Keep going. Oh, you want some love? You want some loving? Oh, 
Toby wants some loving. Go get mama. Romeo. Go get mama. Go get mama for me. Go in that lockout. Thanks guys so much for showing us Romeo. Very, very cool. And uh, Romeo is going to have some social media. Does he have an Instagram? Not yet. Not yet. He's I'll got work a, on it. He's, I'll work uh, on we it. promise to work on it. He's got a Facebook page. He, he does, does, but I need to work on that as well. Okay, guys. We'll update you. Very we'll soon, very you. soon, Romeo is going to become super internet famous. He's already got one video that we did with uh, Carl and and Janie that's probably got like a million likes. So that's wow. really, he's already he's already internet Never famous. Thought. But he needs his own social media so you guys can go out and follow him. Um, but guys, thank you so much for showing us, Romeo. No problem. Thank Anytime. you, Charles, for it, coming to visit. If you like this video, make sure you hit that follow button. And uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Romeo. Bye, Romeo. Bye, Romeo. Oh, puppy. <laughs>